there's an art that's a little bit different to making a giant sugar cookie as opposed to a small sugar cookie. You have to be very, very careful about where you place things and any jerky movements can cause the royal icing to crack or the cookie itself can also crack. Now I like to use the dehydration technique for my cookies, which means that I place it into the oven at 175 degrees Fahrenheit, just so that the top layer solidifies and then I pull it back out. But be careful if you're doing this because with a large cookie, it's very, very easy to create cracks. When you have smaller cookies, cookies, there's less movement, but like I mentioned, lots of movement when you're moving around a giant cookie. So if you're going to be using the dehydration trick, then be sure to be very careful. Now this original can actually has a lot of detail on it, but I decided to make it simpler because I was about to use my projector when my son accidentally broke it. So I no longer have a working projector. I ended up having to do the full thing just freehand and I made it a little bit more simple.